What's going on YouTube? How's it going? And welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Cedric and I am very excited to bring to you today the cultist deck. The big, the bad and the ugly. I have finally unlocked it ladies and gentlemen. It is here and today with this week's faction blessing we are going to absolutely wreck decks. Let's jump straight into the video shall we? Right then guys, jumping into our first game of the day. Hey, we have Matty V with the clan Shut Your Trapper. He's also using a cultist deck, the exact same one that we are. So it's cultist v cultist, mirror matchup guys. Let's see if you can play it better. We've got Tribunal coming up first. We do not want to be dropping too much on the board as of yet. But if we can try and hold off just until we manage to make it to that second round with plenty of mana, we'll be able to drop plenty of things and get up and running. Right then, jumping into match number two here, guys. Ignore the first one. Let's see how we can do in the second one. Again, we're coming up with that mirror matchup. No, we're not. What has he got that's different to us? Nothing, actually. That guy didn't have the mirror matchup. He's got the mirror matchup now. I thought I was running the Bombardier, but I'm not. I'm not running the Bombardier. We've got Bedden coming up first. So we should be able to deal with him not too sharply. And let's see who we're going to get rocking here. We've got a couple of Dryads on the board, a couple of Harley Quinns couple of cultists as well we're looking for that portal keeper right now looking for him still searching there's a few nice harley quins to get a few copied cultists on the board we just need that portal keeper there to get the deep up and there we have it guys there is number one not really where i want them to be they're all over the board we're going to try and get them moved into the center before they all start getting leveled up i do want to drop another portal keeper if possible but we'll see not too bad, getting a few Dryads on the board so we will be able to get things leveled up nicely as well. There we go, that Dryad leveled up in the corner is not what we wanted at all guys. No it is not. So we're actually going to... Yeah, we're going to level up our Portal Keeper with one of them Dryads so we can get that Cultist out of the corner there. Just got to get a few more things on the board. Alright, so let's get both these leveled up now. Let's just do that. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. There we go, we need a few more things on the board. We need our things in better positions, definitely. Alright, well we're going to move you now before you get levelled up again. As soon as you're awake, we'll move you into position and we'll move you there now. And we'll copy you and move you over. And there we go, we've got one cross set up and going beautiful. Doing plenty of damage now guys, he's got a cross on the board, we've got a cross on the board. Let's get him levelled up. Alright, there's another one, that's very nice. We're going to move across now and eat this portal keeper. We're going to drop another Dryad, so we're going to level him up. And now we're going to level him up in the middle again. So now we've got that Merge 3 in the middle there. Our cultists are doing a fair bit of damage now. He's got a cross himself, or a T, whatever you want to call it. Get a level up on our cultist there. Oof. Are we going to be able to take Bedlam out before he changes us? Yes, we are. No problem at all there, gentlemen. And your ladies and gentlemen. Bubba Tear coming up next. We should be able to deal with him fairly easily so we've got two crosses on the board we're going to move you up here and then we're going to wait for him to wake up and then we're going to move him with the scrapper and then we'll move that cultist out of the corner and then we'll have three t's on the board ladies and gentlemen three t's putting out all the work doing all the damage and it's going to unlock the true potential of what the cultist can do for you let me show you in this match guys let me show you we've got puppeteer coming up next i'm not bothered about him at all Moving straight down there, and there's our 30 set up and going. There we go. Finally leveled up our cultist to max after I hit the button about four times there. And we're going to go ahead and just eat our portal keepers now, ladies and gentlemen. There's another cultist. We don't need him, though. We're just going to eat him. There's another dryer. That's lovely. We can get a level on that another central T there. And there's another false keeper. Just get that eaten. Merging up. Ew, it's into that central position. That is absolutely beautiful. Merge for Cultist sat right there in the middle. Putting the damage out, putting the work out. Another Cultist dropped on the board there. We don't need him, let's gobble him up. Dropping him up for another Merge 3. Getting them merges on them Cultists. And as you can see with the Faction Blessing, every 60 seconds, one of our troops, one of our Cultists, because that is from the Dark Domain Faction, is getting merged up. So waiting for that to happen. There we have the Merge 2. Give us a... Unfortunately not, it gives us a school it gives us a Harley Quinn. So I'm probably going to copy the portal keeper and try and merge him. There's the dryad, very nice. Let's get that put down onto that cultist there. So we've got two merge board dryads, and that's just merged up into another merge three as well. Very nice. Taking our puppeteer absolutely out. No problem at all. He's been moved around once, he's been leveled down once, his cultist is still only a level one. 
he was lucky to take Puppeteer out then I think. So we've got Tamer coming up next, absolutely nothing to worry about there. Let's merge them two scrappers off, because it's a Harley Quinn. And we're going to merge off straight away. Just start eating, keep eating, keep gobbling things up and keep getting them levels or not. Well, when we've got the dry ads, we might as well use it on a cultist, but when, any, when it's anything else, we might as well eat it up so we can get them merge ranks on everything else. There you go, you can see it's the signs come through now, it's reaching around halfway. We're going to go ahead and eat that up as well, we're getting another merge up there. Lots of stuff looking healthy on our board now, looking very nice. Tamer's coming up in 45 seconds, I don't know if this guy's going to be able to hold on that long, we'll have to see. Going to drop something else, oh, he's about to eat that, we can use that to level up that cultist down there in the corner. And he has dropped his trainer there, very nice monster, I think this might be GG's. I don't think we're going to be able to hold on again. And there it is, the victory for us, guys. That is the true potential of the cultist. It's so easy to set up. It's so easy to get going with. And with the faction blessing, you are just wrecking everybody you come up against this week. You are going to see cultists everywhere. You are going to run into them. And if you can, outboard them, outplace them strategically, you are going to be getting them dubs, ladies and gentlemen. I was waiting to unlock him for such a long time and when I unlocked him I was so happy and the very next day this faction blessing comes on. I couldn't have asked for more. Let's jump into one more guys and see if we can get another dub for you here today. Leave a like on the video if you are enjoying it though guys. Please comment down below all your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the cultist. He's probably my favourite, favourite is my most favourite card in the game at the minute to be honest. He's very good, he's very, very fun to play with, he's easy to set up. Does that make him good? I am not too sure. But we're going to keep going in here. We've got Puppeteer coming up first. So hopefully we'll be able to get leveled up nicely before he ranks up any of our units. Before he de-ranks any, de any of our units, sorry. And I mean, hopefully we can get up set, set, set up pretty nicely. Get your words out, Cedric. Gosh. Alright, well, we're going to copy this over here just so there's no chance of getting it. Because obviously the Harley Quinn is in the dark. Back the dark domain faction as well so we don't want him getting leveled up at all just in case so we'll move you down here so we're one closer to that cross well, i don't know why we're one closer to that cross now actually that was not that was a bit of a pointless move let's there we go another cult is there now we just need one more in that central position and we'll have that first cross or the first t set up and our damage output will be looking very lovely all right then still waiting for that last spot to be filled and here we go Alright, Portal Keeper exactly where we wanted him, there we go. Gonna level up you, and uh, level you up again, very, very nice. Another Cultist there, absolutely wonderful. We're gonna merge two of these up here, and get the Harley Quinn. Can't moan at that too much, we are gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna level you up, do that, and do that. There we go, very nicely, very nicely. And once he wakes up, we'll be able to move him back into the middle as well. Hopefully he doesn't get ranked up before then. Just have to wait and see, there we go, he's awake again, let's move him back. There we go, let's get a level on our cultist there. He's looking... I know what he's trying to do, he's trying to get plenty of levels on his cultists, so when they do get merged up by the 60 second faction blessing, they're just going to be stupidly high, and then hopefully he'll be able to just drop and fill his board with teeth. But we'll see, we'll see how that plays out for him. I'm going to copy this over here, move it over here, there we go. There we go, we've got a nice couple of mergers on the board now, looking very tasty. Very tasty. Things are looking good. We need one more in that T position over there, so let's get them swapped around. Hopefully he doesn't merge up with the 60 second faction blessing before my portal keeper wakes up and I can get him up and going. Boom! There we go. Let's level him up as well. Should have leveled the one with the T up, to be honest. But that's alright, we're going to merge up there, we'll get the scrapper, so we're going to eat that portal keeper. Another dryad there, which is very nice. Going to drop again, and that gives us another dryad, so... Let's eat those two, we'll merge those two, put it on that guy, drop another troop here, put it on that guy. Could have eaten, no, copycatted the dryad again there to be able to get another one, maybe merge a few more things up. But there we go, there's another cultist in the position, we just need one more now. Well, we don't, we can just do that. Unfortunately, we need to swap those two around. Woof! Woof! I wondered, I wondered what was getting merged up then. But now we just need to swap these around when he wakes up once again and then we'll have the three T position looking wonderful. Now we just need to level up our cultist and get plenty of damage outputs. As you can see he does have emerge six on the board which is looking very nice for him. You, you know you can't grumble at emerge six cultists on the board not at all. But 
His wave is coming around fairly thick and fairly fast. And oh my gosh, I didn't realise that it was Tribunal. Oh no. Our board's going to get wiped out. Our board is going to get destroyed. 20 seconds. I'm just going to have to try and save some mana. He might not even be able to hold on. He probably will hold on. He's got... Oh, he's dropped his trainer. I don't know if he is. Oh yeah, he's looking He's looking a lot better. He's copying things. He's not going to be able to hold on. There we have it, guys. He couldn't even wait on... I can't get my words out. He couldn't even make it to Tribunal, guys. He's trying a different strategy to what we were doing. We filled our board. I didn't realise it was Tribunal to start with, but it managed paying off for us. We got that dub there. Three easy victories with the Colts today, guys. We're not sat at low trophies either. We're not doing too bad. Let's get out of here. We've got 37 for that one. Let's get out of here and see where we are. See, we're sat at 57, guys. That's the highest trophies I've ever been sat at. Leave a like for that. Comment on the video, subscribe if you are new around here, and I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. When you kiss me, it's like the stars fall out the sky.